League of Legends fans and of course just Arcane fanatics, we are finally back with Arcane Season 2 Act 1 tonight. I've gotten to see the entire first act. I've also already started Act 2. Thank you to Netflix for sending that on over. I cannot wait to watch it. But I decided to not watch it before actually reviewing this. I started watching it after I edited the video. But... I am so excited to be talking about this because Arcane kind of came out of nowhere for me. Uh, I used to, just as a little bit of background context, I used to play a little bit of League of Legends back in the day, got really, really addicted. I didn't understand the story, the characters, but the gameplay and the everyday essence of it kind of reminded me of some earlier games that I used to play back in the day, and I was just hooked, stopped playing it, uninstalled it, because it was just taking over my life, and I did not have time for it, but... That's not why I watch Arcane. I rolled my eyes at the thought of them making a League of Legends animated show. I was like, yeah, cool. The characters are awesome, and I'm sure the animation will look cool, but do I really care about this? And from season one, which I put off forever, I had friends who don't watch television tell me, you need to watch this show. And when I finally went and watched it, I fell in love with it and proclaimed that it's not just one of the best things Netflix has ever done, it's one of the best animated series ever created. Thank God we can own it on physical media, and I cannot wait to own season two already, which is proclaimed as the final season. Now, I'm sure they'll do more things in the League of Legends world, but I think this is more for Vi and Jinx's life and their story. I think this is the end of their story here. And yeah, it's going to be exciting to talk about this. So this review will be, for the most part, non-spoiler. I don't want to spoil it for anyone who has not jumped into Act 1 yet. Towards the end, I might bring up certain things and just be like, oh, this was cool, this was cool, and some of the spoilers that Netflix proclaimed and said, you know, you know, try and save till later, and, you know, as the episodes are now out, we can talk spoilers. So with this said, if you don't know what Arcane Season 2 is about, I don't know why you'd be clicking on this, but to just get it out of the way, Season 2 picks up in the aftermath of the explosive events of Season 1 after Jinx launches a stolen Hextech gemstone at the Piltfort Council, and yeah, it picks up right from there. So what I really liked about Season 2 per se is it does just jump right into the aftermath of these events. But it, and it doesn't try to play like recap or anything of this. It, it expects that if you watch this series almost four years ago, you're going to remember everything. So definitely watch those recaps. But as I jumped into this season, what I was really a big fan of was, and specifically the same thing kind of goes for season one. Season one, if you look at the first three episodes, it's set up for these characters, their relationships, the world. What are they to everything and to each other? And then like by the third episode, where it leaves you off on that cliffhanger, and I know it goes like week to week with the three episodes, you're like, holy shit, what just happened? And then you watch Act 2, and you're like, this is phenomenal, and Act 3 ends in the same manner, where you're like, holy shit. With Act 1 for Season 2, basically the same structure. Aftermath of what happened in Season 1, furthering out where are the characters now, introducing some new characters, and what is the plan and execution of what's going to happen here? And very much the first episode focuses more on V. Again, I know some fans, I've heard people say Vi, V. I know the show has its own way of saying it. That's just how I'm going to say it. Please ignore me. But when it, the first episode really focuses in on her and what's going on. Then I felt like season two or season two, episode two started to show a little bit more on Jinx. Where's she at? And by the third episode, we get this phenomenal phenomenal action scene i mean we get quite a few throughout the entire series but the third episode alone just again gives you that rupturing emotion all that build up goosebumps i'm getting goosebumps right now underneath my long sleeve from thinking about it but it builds it up in such a perfect manner that i was just sitting there like fuck yeah let's do this shit and i think for me when it comes down to arcane it's a lot of different categories and while it has the animation and while it has a lot of the cool unique things to this world it does come down to the characters in the story and that is the thing that arcane nails so perfectly and season two act one just absolutely nailed that as well and going into the performances of course Haley steinfeld is phenomenal in here i, I really believe every single thing that she is feeling and specifically in towards the back half one of the big events that happens in the last episode it all ruptures up to that point and alongside this, you also have to give a big major shout out to Ella Purnell, who plays Jinx, which Jinx is my favorite character in this entire series. Like, there's just something about her that's just so phenomenal. And the way that Purnell plays this off 
in this insane but charismatic and at the same point in time emotional depth, I, I really do appreciate. And I like seeing how these two different ideologies, these two different ways and looks at life are showcased back all the way towards season one, but now showing what season two is all about in those. Knowing that this is the final season, it does feel the strongest in that nature because it doesn't feel like anyone is safe. From the opening of this first episode, you're like, holy crap, they're they're going there. And they're establishing certain things in that, you know, no one again is safe into what they're supposed to do. Certain events where some episodes of television, I feel like we're like, okay, this feels like a safe zone. You're having these character moments. Nothing bad's gonna happen here and then in arcane it's the complete opposite because it comes down to act one again it's just that perfect startup that perfect setup for what will and could be the best thing that netflix has ever produced i'm saying that right now it could be it could be if they nail it. So with that said, we're going to try to jump into spoilers now. Please leave your thoughts down below. Hit that like, subscribe button if you haven't watched this series either, but you should. And just, of course, the action and animation. It's amazing as fuck. So now jumping into spoilers, just some certain things that I kind of like noticed. Uh, first off, I really like the Caitlyn and Vi or Caitlyn and V. They're sharing that kiss. They're getting their relationship. And I think that really ties into certain things, again, in that final confrontation between V and Jinx. That fight scene was phenomenal. It blew my mind away. Like, I'm just sitting there. Anytime an action scene kicks off in Arcane, like, I'm, like, instantly hooked to the TV. Like, I can't take my eyes away from it. And you're just, like, flipping out at every little aspect. As well as the anomaly it's we finally get to see a part of it in here i think the impact of what this is going to do not just for the people trapped there but for the characters that we all know and love will be a massive piece to this which makes me wonder if jinx and v will find their way back to each other i think that is kind of like the whole thing they split it but can they find their way back and I think they will. Also, like Caitlyn and her whole entire Enforcer team, that entire sequence, I think that was in episode two, was just grand. Again, every single episode has like a standout moment or a standout sequence, and it's just so great. Arcane is one of those shows that's just almost indescribable of what you are watching. With all that said, I'm gonna give Arcane Act One Season Two an A. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching this. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, comment down below your guys' thoughts. What did I not talk about that you guys wish I would have? Let's com continue that conversation down below and look out for my Act 2 Season 2 review next week. Of course, until next time, stay classy.